Paul's Pub, and I'm here at Paul's Pub, and uh, I'm having me a little drinky poo. Ooh. Mm. You know, frequently when I drink, I think of people. Certain times, you ever said anything like you? Like you think of a drink, when you think of a certain person, you think of a drink, or you think of a maybe an ethnic group, you think of a person. Well, today I'm thinking about Mexico. So, and I'm thinking about Mexican women. So, uh, this is like uh, having a Mexican, sort of. That was a really terrible way to start this whole thing off. <laughs> so, sorry about that. A um, couple things real quick. My feed is, or my uh, private message has been blown up, and feeds have been blown up about Carrie Fisher. And, did I just say Fisher? Have another drink, Paul. Carrie Fisher. And, um, you know, when I have time to talk about that, I'm going to talk about it. But someone's opening my door. Who who could it possibly be? Hey, hey. Someone that says, hey, hey. Because big feet. Hey. Paul Gregory, how's it going? All right. Good to see you, man. Good how to see you? you. Please, you. Yeah, yeah. How are things? Good. I'm sorry. I'm how's, it, how's the weather? Hey, how's everybody doing? That's Paul. Hey, everyone. He's a comedian. I'm not. It's pouring outside. It's pouring outside. Yeah. I heard, like, crazy ass... I mean, when I was just at work, just a little while ago, crazy wind, yeah, all sorts of nuttiness. And I knocked on your neighbor's door back accident. Oh! Well, I wonder what they said. She said, yeah, I hear you. It's kind of... <laughs> Can you get like, some Sorry, old bank. All right. Yeah, it'd be great. It sounds great. like you need a drink. Yeah. Uh, something light, something dark. Uh, I'll go light this time. Light. Yeah. I have light. I'm going to turn you on to the very first Czech beer ever. Really? Yeah. This is a Pilsner. It's oh, really cool. that old. Jeez. Stick with what works, I guess. Yeah, oh, it's, it's really good. 1842. Uh, huh? Very old. It's almost as old as it's fine. Bottle's yeah. good? Yeah. All right, cheers, man. All right, thanks for having me. Yeah. I appreciate it. So what brings you by? All right, we got another great show. We got another great show. I have a great show right now. Oh, you mean you have a great show. Producing another show. Other than this one, I apologize. Oh, okay, okay. What's that all about? So we've got Thursday night, like this Thursday. This Thursday. 22nd, 8 p.m., the Buttonwood Tree in, on Main Street in Middletown. We've got Mark Norman headlining. Wow. Mark Norman's one of the biggest acts in the country. Right now. Like, right, right now. now. Just did uh, an hour special, Comedy Central. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conan, Jimmy Fallon, and everybody. Uh, he's coming to Middletown. 8 p.m. show. That's going to be awesome. Go to buttonwood.org to reserve your tickets. And that's Thursday at 8. It's Thursday at 8. We've got Doug Key opening. Oh, not bad. Great act. Yeah, really good starter, yeah. Doug yeah. Uh, just headlined uh, comics uh, okay. this weekend. Okay. with the, uh, the, the Mohegans on there? Yeah, yeah, with uh, Mike Hanley, I believe, mm -hmm. so... So they did a great show. So Doug will be uh, featuring on that one as well. Oh, cool. And we've got uh, Stash Makita, who's a local. Yeah, 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 also yeah. awesome and very uh, fun. Yeah. And myself, the host, and then we have a we have got a DJ as well. So it's going to be a oh, great night. So it's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doors open at six. So everybody, come on down, start drinking, hang out. We'll pump some tunes. Hopefully, I can actually go this time. Yeah, it'd be great. Or something that doesn't ex waiting for you, man. Something doesn't explode on me. Right health issues yeah so so i've been quiet this month last mm -hmm. month i was the busiest man in the world we worked together i did all those promotions for uh comic-con and yeah. it was really really great and then and your my digestive system just like this exploded, basically right? my yeah. ass exploded almost yeah. literally wow almost literally and then my knee i'm here with the oh, no. knee, and it was getting really good until you came over and i slipped in the shower oh yeah, I thought I heard the door knock, and I was like, he's early! Yeah. So I took a stride oh, forward, no. and I went clunk, and oh, I'm like, sorry. Yeah, so I'm on, I'm gonna, I'm on morphine, but this there definitely helps. <laughs> Alright, well, that'll help. Cool. So how's things? Good. Things what, are good. How, well, what, what gives you, you've been doing lately? So, I, uh, well, I've just been at the Funny Bone this week. Oh, not bad, yeah, yeah. Comics. That was a great show, and then I did uh, Fairfield Comedy Club. Okay. Which is uh, one of the newer comedy clubs in Connecticut. So if you haven't been down, if you're in the Fairfield area, I, I get out to the Fairfield Comedy Club. Place, really? Because it's, uh, it's a great place and a good thing they've got going on down there. Uh, we did two shows Saturday night. Uh -huh. uh, it was an awesome time with my good friend Beecher. And, oh, cool. Yeah. And uh, we had a bunch of people. Uh, uh, Leah Bonama. We had... Uh, Lance Weiss was there, or James Matter. It was just a great, great crew, great lineup. Cool. Uh, my, my first time meeting a bunch of those folks, so forgive me if I'm forgetting somebody, but um, yeah, it was just a fun room. Awesome. Really, we had two great audiences for seven and nine, mm -hmm. um, and then that's it. We got a Keegan's tonight, of course. Right. Keegan's tonight, Middletown on Main Street. So I'm curious about the place in Fairfield. Where in Fairfield is it near? Anything? 
anything I would recognize? It's uh, it's next to the Circle Diner, so it's right at the Circle of like Route One yep, and yep. Ninety Five yep. kind of thing where you come right off. So it's super easy to get to. Okay. Uh, you can and it's right off the highway. It's um, it's like a hotel, I guess. Okay. Know? So they do it uh, right in, in the hotel. There's a great room that they oh, have. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, so you can spend the night. You know, it's got a great Circle Diner next door. The the bar. Yeah, great bar. So yeah. that's good. So you can drink. You, it's actually a great show to the show. Just like the Buttonwoods BYOB also, but you can buy oh. there too. So you go to the bar, watch the show, crash yeah. Hang at out. the hotel, yeah, get wake drunk, up, have a good go time. to the diner the next morning for breakfast. That's right. That's a whole day. Take off. I mean, it's in Fairfield, so it's a great location. Yeah, Fairfield's good. Yeah, Fairfield's good money down there. So busy. It's been a busy month. It yeah. sounds like it. Yeah. That's awesome. And we're going to keep going. So Monday night tonight, we've got a, a Keegan's uh, Pub, Irish Pub on Main Street. Okay. It's always a great place. So. Cool. Come on out in the monsoon. We'll still be there. <laughs> what I'll do is uh, when I hit the broadcast button to, to do the replay, mm -hmm. I'll put in the link to the Buttonwood. Again, we'll do that for sure. Yeah, buttonwood.org. Oh, right, that's right. And that was a good time last time from what I, from all Yeah, we, from we, we've, we've really been on a roll. It's been, uh, we're, we're very fortunate to have uh, Anne-Marie and Mike uh, McHugh in there mm -hmm. uh, that um, both uh, are like the like co-managers of, of the facility there. Mm -hmm. They've uh, super supportive. We've got a great, great cast of people. I mean, every show has been uh, mm -hmm. just a knockout, you know, home run. Right. Uh, audiences are great, and mm -hmm. everybody's walking away happy. They're having a great time. We're getting a lot of repeat business, which is great. That's good. Yeah. We've, we've just about sold three quarters of the room right now. Not bad. So it's a small room. I think we've got. It only holds four, but there's only four <laughs> of us in there. But it's electric, folks. <laughs> The DJ, it's five, but uh, <laughs> there you go. yeah. No, I think we've we've got like thirty-five tickets sold right now. Okay. So it only seats fifty. So folks, get you on the yeah, line. That, it's it Thursday. Do reserve a seat. I mean, we'll cram you in. Come on down. We certainly won't turn anyone away. Mm. But try to reserve that ticket online if you can. Oh. Get your name on a seat. You heard it from him. I have a question about this place. I haven't been. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of like. What's the difference between playing a place like the Buttonwood and a place like an established comedy club? In terms of, is it a different atmosphere and stuff? Okay. Yeah, I would say, uh, so the Buttonwood's like a, a small black box theater. Okay. If you will. If anyone's ever seen a show or like a play at a black box mm -hmm. theater, it's, um, you know, it's. I wouldn't say it's good or worse than seeing it in a, in a mm -hmm. big opera house or something. Right, it right. has its own feel to it also. Sure. But there's something more intimate about mm -hmm. being able to, for, you know, just not have a bad seat in the house. So if it's a black box, I mean, you are really, I mean, the crowd is part of... Yeah, you're hugged right up there. You're right in there. I mean, you yeah. can reach out and... I've done a gig. Nuts if you want, whatever. <laughs> we got plenty of them here. There you go. Um, and pretzels. Yeah. Um, I did a black box uh, gig some years ago uh, with a great comedic actor named Charlie Ross. Yeah. Who does the one-man Star Wars. Okay. And it's hilarious. It's the, the original Star Wars trilogy in an hour and a half. With one actor, no yeah. music, it's all him. And I was in a black box place. And let me, I mean, you were there. You were in it. It was visceral. It's visceral, all right? It's visceral. Let me tell you, my first black box theater experience was in college. Mm. And I happened to choose to see the musical Hair. Wow. Which, if you don't know, folks, <laughs> all nude. Yeah, naked, naked, all naked. All nude, lots of nudity. Sounds like a great idea yeah. and experience to be around. Yeah. Uh, except when you're in a tight, dark room where no <laughs> windows and doors, folks, and the <laughs> actors are probably nervous. Yeah. And the gastrointestinals just oh. start going nuts. There's a lot of, it's all you sm smell in there was just so asshole. Fat bottom, and fat bottom girls make the rocket world go round, but that's a whole other thing. That was a oh, whole yeah. just, just all kinds of. And I would have to imagine, video. like, and I was like, this is awful. If you're an amateur actor, and you, this is... They're college, so everybody's right. pretty, so much, an pretty amateur, much just yeah. an amateur. I mean, I'd hate to be a guy on stage with naked women. That yeah. would, you know, in yeah. porn, great. Any other opportunity right. would be the worst. Right. I just couldn't get over this. Dude, she's so hot. Ass in there. She's so hot. She's so... She's so hot. Hot. You yeah, know. right. <laughs> you need one of these to put it in. Well, right, like, yeah. Well, you do if you're me. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, I just remember, I thought it'd be... Super sexy show. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna jerk off to no, it later. No, yeah, no, it was no, just, no way. This stinks literally. Yeah, yeah. It smells like ass oh. and sweaty tits in here, and I gotta get out. Well, you know what though? At least you get the feel of the, the 60s. 
Oh, it was the, yeah. It was the <laughs> Hygiene was, was everybody on today. LSD and haven't showered for days. That's what it was. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, man. So. Oh, man. And a lot of, it's like, uh, in a way, there's a lot of, like, nudist colony people in the play. They, in don't, the do play? Any, they don't do any, like, pre-screening with the actors and go, you know what? I don't think anyone's going to want it. Like, it's a lot of bodies that you don't want to see naked. Oh, you know what I mean? Like you, oh. you go to like a nudist colony and go, this is gonna be fun. And yeah, there, no, that's like, the worst idea in the world because everybody's over seventy. Yeah, yeah, and just skin just dropping and, and you know, melting. I I have a theory about that because I talked about this once, but um, God knows why. But because that is a generational thing. Yeah, we think it's awesome, but it's the older folks that are doing it. Right. Which means if you were to go now, the people that were seventy when I was younger right. are ninety now. Right. And if they were ninety then. Well, the corpse is now. They're dead. Right. They're and that's right. it. Yeah. And I think that thing's going to die out. I mean, unless you're going to do, you know, one of those hedonism things. Right. Right. That's yeah, a yeah, different yeah. That's story. Different. That's, yeah. Yeah. I did a, we, I grew up in New Jersey, and the Jersey Shore has Sandy Hook. Right. Sandy Hook has a nude beach. Right. And when you're, you know. I think we confused with New Towns. Sandy no, right, yeah. Very whole, different. Whole different. <laughs> different, unfortunately. <laughs> different vibe. Um, but... <laughs> But yeah, you know, high school kids were like, "Let's go down to yeah. Nude Beach." Right. And we got there and it was like, "This was yeah, this was a bad idea." No, it can't work. If you're an East Coaster, you're seventy and up. Right. Yeah. Doing that it was kind just of thing. a lot of just leather and right, right, melted people wax that have been smoking like, for forty five right. years or just baking in the sun and, all yeah, day yeah. for you know because they live there. Give me some more Johnson and Johnson baby oil, yeah, like just you're like I, I, yeah. I'm like, what? That it was just. You gotta oil that up. It's just lathering it on. It just makes it worse. It looks like somebody's melted candles yeah. in there. That's what it was. It's, there you go. But I think we should bring it back, folks. And I think it should start Sorry, with we got a little if up. you're if you're twenty something. You know, you should start this up yeah, now. You got twenty something. Tighten it up. And Please get out bring there. it back. That way, guys it. our age can go. Bring them. Bring that curve. And up. that way, That's people can be freaked out yeah. when we go. Right. Right. <laughs> I am not in. I'm getting I'm getting fat. Like that's oh, the worst thing when you know you're, it's happening to you. Yeah. I keep having to unbuckle my belt when I drive now. I don't know if you're. So I'm not the only one. No, no, no. I like that's my move. I don't know if girls do this, guys. We I definitely because I can't breathe. I right. can't. It's digging into my yeah. belt, like bladder yeah. and more. Yeah. You know, because I'm carrying low. Yep. yep. And um, it's everything low. Yeah. It's uh like it's just now it's I hate that it's just become like a aneurysm now. Just because, like, I get in, I start it, and then you I push, fix the yeah, mirror, and yeah. I put it on the seatbelt, and then I just do it automatically. Yeah, and, and going right back to the old people, you gotta blame, like, I'm your gonna parents. force myself right into that nude beach, I think. You're, 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 you're on your way. I'm almost there. You're on your way. Ready for it. Don't want to see you. The worst That's part is, like, I, I forget that I've done it. So when I get out of the oh. car, I just have this wide open belt and pants, <laughs> and people are just looking at me. I'm like, ah, oh, that's right. That's why they're looking at the old yeah. older guy. Yeah. Did you? Has this ever happened to you? So, because I've I've been there, and I think it probably happened. I think I probably started doing it regularly when I hit about forty. Uh huh. I'm and thirty-five, so I'm, I'm, you're I'm not far behind. Round and third there. You're, yeah. you're not. You're not yeah. far behind. So I started regularly undoing the pants thing, and one day. For whatever reason, I didn't, and I don't know why I decided to not just just tough it out. But I tried to tough it out. Yeah. And that is a very bad idea. Yeah, no, it's bad. It's bad. It bad. digs right into your organs. It digs and puts pressure on yeah. your intestines. That's right. Yeah. Which makes you have to do what? You now have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, all kinds of things. And it's not like I got to go to the bathroom. It's an intense. I've got to go to the bathroom. Right. It's yeah, because you're squeezing right in there. You're right. Getting into that. So you're getting this into thing's that pushing you into here. Your yeah. ass is trying to like squeeze itself as hard as it can. Yeah, keep going, everything up. Why are you pushing this way? We're right. Going out. We're right. Going we're, we're, we're going out. Yeah. Once you go out, stay out. It doesn't it doesn't know that that's a, just a seatbelt that's squeezing tight. It doesn't know. No. It doesn't know. It's not a good. And if you tried to trick your mind into thinking it was something else, it still wouldn't know. No, yeah, I got the. Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a pain in the neck too because I got the old prostate, so you know that's just right. yeah. that just uh, swelling up like a softball in there. Oh, geez. And uh, you know that makes me just have to pee even more. So I yeah. really that buckle is really killing me. So so you've been you've you've. Oh, I've gotten the. Oh yeah, yeah, I got in there. Really? Yeah, I got in. I there. haven't had to do that yet. Yeah, I mean, I, I uh, should, my but... doctor decided that he wanted to do the old, start doing the old check. Really? And what age? Like, you know, like, like a couple years ago. Really? Yeah. In the 30s. In my 30s. Is this a familial thing? A family thing? Uh, no, I didn't. You know, I didn't know that you weren't supposed to do it in your 30s. 
I didn't know that like it wasn't something that doctors started doing until you were like 40s or 50. Right. So I thought it was a little early, but it's a little. And again, I, what do I know? You know, I'm just a fat shit right now. So <laughs> I um yeah I so I go all right here we go and he make it so it's so like degraded too. I mean if if they treat you like a Friday night whore oh, in there. I, mean, I have got, so much I want to say. Turn your knees in. They make you hold the table like it's uh, just. Well, you probably after a while you probably want to hold. You it, just got to brace something. it. Yeah, yeah, it's just awful. And uh, yeah, he goes in and I go. I thought it seemed a little early for that. I go. I thought you don't have to do this till you're like fifty. And he goes, Well, I like to do it now. You know, I like, like to do it. Now. You like to do it now. <laughs> like you're not going by some manual or something <laughs> that you have. Like this is just your this preference. Now. Not a standardized procedure. You like to do it now. <laughs> Then at least they get to dinner yeah, first. Right? I'm like, well, you don't just get to do things you like to do in here now. Like, what the what kind of explanation is that? What's that whip over there? Uh, yeah. I like to do it now. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what the fuck? That's 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 weird. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name because I want people to experience him too. But yeah, it's not it's not fun. So. That's crazy. I have not had that done. I'm 43. In fact, I saw. This is horrible. I don't even know. More. Totally all over the place. We got here. right up in there. We oh, got yeah. almost, almost literally right in the right in the colon today. And so I saw a doc a week and a half ago, and they just kind of put it out there. You don't need your prostate check till you're 50. Yeah. And I said, "Where? Why? Why? I mean, thank you in right. a way. Like, right. thank you for letting me put this off for a few more years. But why? Why 50? And she, she yeah. just sort of looked at me blankly. And I remember thinking, like, here she is, and I've not met this woman before. This is my first appointment with this woman. Right. And she's like, you don't need that work to worry about that. So what do we have to worry about? Right. Everything else. Everything else. Everything else. She took a look at your ass, maybe, too, and was like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to that. I'm not going to that. I'm not going to that. I had it nice and shiny. That's right, yeah. I waxed it. That's I used... a dark cave right there. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, use, I just like, keep letting them do it. Yeah. At this point, so I'm we're like, we're, we're different this way. It's I really am. I'm like a. a I use Libra 2000 for all my 2000 body parts. I wanted it to be clean and shiny. And she goes, when you're 50. That's it. She went like this, just kind of like that. No, you know, just when you're 50. She's like, looks good. Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll shelve like, it for And I'm like, well, years. wait a minute. I have cancer in my family. Right. Right. You yeah. know, this is a big I deal. To me. Check She's my like, ass. no, 50. Get your hands in that ass. Oh my God. Get in there. I just feel like uh, just a, a dirty college whore now when I go to the doctor. Right? Because I'm like, you know what? He's already been in there. Right. Well, there you just go. Just go and do get it again, again just man. Just do it again. Just, what's, what's the difference? But don't you feel like you should get something for this? Yeah, I feel, but I know I put it out there early anyway without getting, so it's That's like, true. You know you what already I mean? set a precedent. He already, he already got in my ass, so I can't expect dinner now. Right. You know what I mean? Precedence has been set. Yeah. But what if you just say, was this a rate check? Was this, yeah. Just like question mark. Is what there a rain check involved in this? Is this all this is? <laughs> what are we is doing? Is that all MTU? No Netflix at all? At least nothing? That's a thing. Let's get right in my ass. That's it. Oh. Like, why would I do that now? Why, oh, would right, I, right. why would I treat you special now? I've been, tra I've been treating you this way for years. And, and why, you, I can't, not, you can't expect me to all of a sudden take it up a notch. Right. Start taking you out to dinner or bring you home. You can't do that. I'm not introducing you to anybody. No. This is the way our relationship started. This is the way it's going to end. This is the way it's always going to be. You know, I'm just thinking of our, our, our previous conversation, which was a, a little while ago. And you, had, you were dating a girl, still dating her, right? Mm -hmm. right? Is she in any way involved in any of this? No, she stays out of my ass, pretty much. She doesn't go anywhere near her. She knows not to. She knows not to. It's so that's, not a good, so you say, no, yeah, okay. that's not even. Because some even, people are, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. no. You hit, don't even go past the balls, nothing. Right. Not, even, that. not even into sure. Taint Town or Taintville. Don't even, you know why? Because it feels a little too funny, too. Yeah, no, there's, so there's no tossing of salad. No, no. There are no vegetables. I, 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 you know, I like her. I don't want to do that. That's something you do to your enemy, right? Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So I'm thinking, like, she's not... Hey, hey, hey. So, hey Jim. How are you? How, how, how are you? Good, man. How are you doing? Yeah. This is Paul. Paul. Nice to meet you. Oh, you know me. Yeah. How's it going? How's it going? How, how, how I'm nervous. You? What? Uh... No, I didn't bring anything. I'm good. You bring anything? Well, you're like, you're nervous. Why are you nervous? Oh, you got something behind your back. We're like wondering where it's my phone. Oh, we're like. <laughs> what is it, an old cell? Do you have a backpack for that thing or something? Like, this is it. I'm getting murdered. Here it comes. <laughs> so, what's going on? Well, we're, well, Paul's here. He's telling us about his show that he's got coming up on uh, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday you, night. You can, you can sit and. Yeah, have a seat. Join in. I'm good. Frame. You're kind of out of frame. People hear Jim, they can't see Jim. 
That's good. That's always good. Okay. <laughs> he's switching hands. Uh, anyway, um, so, so he was just telling us about his gig that he's got coming up on Thursday at the Buttonwood, which it is where? The Buttonwood Tree on Main Street, Middletown, 8 p.m. Go to buttonwood.org. Get your tickets now. Reserve your seats. It's a... We only have a few more days left, and we're filling up fast. And who's headlining? Mark Norman, everybody. Mark Norman featuring Doug Key, Scotch Makita. It's going to be a great show. I'm going to host it. Free. Yeah. Free, uh, free, uh, free prostate exams free after free. the show for everybody. I don't know how we so got to that we'll get discussion. right in there for you. Well, Jim's older than me. Jim, you have your prostate checked? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. I'm okay. sure. I'm fine. You're fine. Yes, I'm fine. You're not fine. Yes, I'm fine. You gotta come by on a Thursday night. We'll dig it out for you. Oh, so uh, um, yeah, I can't sit there because I'll be in his way. I mean, well, what if he just fine. what if he just sits there and you sit there? Well, yeah. we can do that. I guess it's fine. Yeah, as long as, long as he's got the spot, as long as he's got the spotlight, we got it. No problem. Happy, happy to oblige. Jim, uh, I, I have a beer for you. I want a beer. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> um. Here, I uh, got one of my favorites here for you. Oh, I think I had that last time. That's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Usually Jim's the one that drinks this. I think people love it, Jim. It's a little okay. That he had this before you. <laughs> we have a um. What? It's, oh. been a, it's just a surprise guest. We got a drink. It, well, it, he's Jim. You got a cameo. A cameo? No, wait. You can't salute me. Yeah. Well, but can I pick my? Well, you looked at me like I had a third head. Well, I just I see both your hands for the first time tonight. <laughs> um, what's that all about? Oh, you know what? Well, shot, 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 shot. Yeah, shot. what are you doing? When am I going to turn one down? <laughs> Jim's never turned down a shot. <laughs> well, I was thinking that I just kind of go a little old-fashioned, if that's okay. And I wanted to bring out one of... Wow. You actually got music playing. I only do that for the live shows. Oh. Because I, that way I don't have to worry about dubbing it. Oh, it's special. Special event. I thought I could break out the... Where the fuck did it go? I can swear... Oh, look what I found. Ah, my God. <laughs> That's yours. I've been looking at this thing for years. <laughs> Jeez. And there it is. There it is. And there it is. Oh, this pup is a catch-all for everything. Oh, Sorry, honey, I got it. Told you I didn't lose it. <laughs> Knew it was here the whole time. I lose one of these a uh, week, probably. So as long as, you, yeah. as long as you didn't blame her for all of it. No, right? no. Is, that, is this a little too strong for you? No, I mean, no. Nothing's too strong for you. <laughs> nothing is too strong. I'll take no. a single, just so I'm not. You want to go with this one? Passing out. Yeah. This yeah, one. This I'll one's quite good. Yeah, it's fine. I'm, they're both good. So I just started uh, planning my my next road trip. Pacific Coast Highway. West oh, West very nice. Oregon. Yeah. Going to Oregon. Nice. Well, I'll be there. Oh, I know you will. Yeah. yeah I, had, I had a feeling you were going to be there. You had a feeling I was going to be there. What in the blazes does that mean? <laughs> I'm, 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 so I'm going to hit Seattle? Maybe Washington? I will definitely... Did you just a little bird down? told me. A little bird, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going out and flying out to what, Seattle and then driving down? Uh, driving up. So, yeah, we'll start off, we're going to go uh, here, uh, pardon me, San Diego, okay. and San Diego up. Go up, okay. So, i got to get a GoPro. Uh, I figure that's the right way to do it now. Right. What's wrong with that shot? Nothing. What? Yeah. You're, you're right. jumpy tonight. And you're not. <laughs> I have everything under control. All right. You okay? Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Oh, We're fine here. Prostate right there. Yeah, well, you're the one that has that issue. Or not. Yeah, <laughs> there's plenty of hair on my prostate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's what I've been told. It's been a while. I heard, yeah. it, I heard it was a hairy situation. Yes. <laughs> Where's that little joke box yeah, thing of yeah, yours? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good word. Yeah, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, my sister's getting married. Right. That's comedy in my... It's Are like, we supposed to congratulate you? I feel stupid saying that. I'm not the ones to get married. Right. But, you know, when people are like, ah, my sister is getting yeah, yeah, married, yeah. and then people cl clap for him. I mean, you should congratulate me because I'm not getting married. You're stealing that thunder. Why are you doing that? That's you know? what I think. You're if you're not, not getting married, then you should be congratulated. 
Yeah. When you are getting married, you see a priest, either on obligation or just because you, that's probably the right thing to do. Like, what's wrong with you? Right. Maybe, maybe someone can talk some sense in me. No, there's, there is, I don't know what marriage is for me. But for my sister, I'm very happy. So, right. It's like when people take credit for being like becoming an uncle or an aunt. You know, like, oh, I just became an uncle, and people, yeah, what, what do you, yeah. you did nothing in yeah. the equation. I had, yeah, I had nothing to do with this. Yeah, I was all after the birth. That's when I came in. Yeah, yeah. That's you like did all the work. I'm a great grandmother, yeah. and you're a great grandfather. And yep. I'm now a friend of somebody that has a baby. Right. It's the same. He pitched. She status. received. I'm related to him. Yeah, that's it. That's There's my no difference in status. Yeah, so. yeah. I enjoy being an uncle. Right. I enjoy it, but you don't have. You don't can't, can't take any credit for it. No, no, no. You'd be I'm, an uncle I'm even if you didn't want to be. Right. That's yeah, I have no choice in the matter. It's like being a grandparent. Whether you're going to be a good uncle or not, right. that's, that's different. Right. But, uh, yeah. How's that? It's good. Yeah. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. I already just knocked mine down. Yeah. So uh, so you're here. Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Came in with the storm. I, and <laughs> and here, that actually probably explains the weather. The guys. storm blew in, yes. Yep. So you can see this, a lot of air flying around when you <laughs> drove in. Oh, that was because of him. I need another beer. Thing. This is great, by the way. Isn't it great? Yeah. Yeah. But we can't talk about that. We can't talk about what? What that is. We can't say what it is. I can just say <laughs> that it's the oldest, the oldest yes, beer. Yes, I, I have, beer I have ever. to tell you about something, but I can't tell you because I can't say the name. <laughs> but I tried a, I tried a beer the other day. I think you'd be interested. Oh, wait a minute. I can show you. You can show me the beer, but we can't show them the beer. <laughs> or can we? No. No. Okay. No, because yeah, you'll, you'll see what I don't know. Um, a you, want a beer? <laughs> you want a beer? <laughs> you want a beer? You want a beer? You want a You want a beer? You can't go wrong with that. If you're not buying, you got to leave. Yes. Yeah, that's that's kind of how it works. Oh, I forgot about this. Ooh. 8%. Wow. Yes. What's that, a four pack then? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's my, I mean, you, you can't go wrong with that. No, no. I was Wonderful. like, it's very smooth. It doesn't have the same gritty as the trout. Yeah, yeah okay. Taste. It's very smooth. What is it like? Eight percent. Creamy, it's, it's creamy, more than creamy. Yes, yes, yeah. a little creamy. Yep. Creamy I like earth. it because it's not, it is, and there's no bloat. No, yeah, I no. Know, I beer now, like I get one mm -hmm. sip and I burp forty times, <laughs> and I got it's just awful. Yeah, I tell you, I really got fat, Paul. So I really got to start. You know, I'm on the starting to do the caveman diet. I'm trying that out now. Caveman. What's diet. the caveman diet? I think it's you just you just For eat whatever you want, and around. then you. I'm good with that one. Yeah. So this Snack. one's up. Uh, oh, no, isn't it like you're supposed to just eat like meat? That's I think you just eat meat, meat and then isn't just that Atkins? fuck your girlfriend Atkins. super hard or something. And then, you know. <laughs> is Atkins coming back? I don't know. Atkins. It's Chet like Atkins, the Atkins, Chet Atkins is coming back? Got fast fingers. <laughs> like I could chicken pick. Atkins is not bad. It works. It works. It I works. Know a friend just got to be uh, careful with the cholesterol. Yeah, I know a friend, though, who had a uh, uh, diabetic and then did the old Atkins and is no longer diabetic. There now you me, go. I'm on the beer diet. <laughs> I can't decide what I want to drink. The beer? The beard. The beer. Oh, the, the beard, beard comes out. All right, yeah. The beard comes from drinking beer. From drinking beer. Yeah. Yeah, I got the, that must be what, what's going on here. <laughs> I don't think I had the full beard. The, the more, the more, we, the, the more beer you drink, the longer your beard gets. Yeah. Well, well that more, was a change. The more you don't care. I went from <laughs> Mexico to England here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually. That is quite a change. It's actually the United States, but yeah, trying to be England. Wow. Well, pretty much the same right now. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's good. I it's think like if you go, it's Mexico to England, but now if you go back to Mexico, now you're the United States. Right. Or not. I don't know what that even meant. Trump, Mexicans, and oh. out. All right. <laughs> oh. So is there going to be a wall built around that beer pretty soon? Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. <laughs> you can go Mexico <laughs> and the United States. But who's going to pay for that wall? Right. <laughs> All's fun. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> On that note, all your sponsors. Uh, yeah, right. Hey, what are you doing now? Ooh, what am I doing now? I'm hitting the button. Okay, you said on that note, but you're like, not such a pass. Thursday night, June 22nd. <laughs> Mark oh, Dorman, sure? Doug Key, Stash Makita, 8 p.m. Buttonwood.org, folks. Reserve your tickets. What I was going to do is go online to see if anybody had any questions oh, for our uh, special guests. Questions. Absolutely. Let's see what we have in the realm of that. Give me a second, and we'll get that right on there. Do we got the envelope? We got to rip it open. Hold up. That's what Carson did. I know. 
I don't have to wear the, the hat. And... Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't know at first. You're like, what the hell are you guys mm. talking about? <laughs> wow. All right. I think. So if you have questions, start asking. There is a question to start off with. Already? Already. All right. We like questions. <laughs> I hope it's not. I hope it's not <laughs> Paul, I want your blood. Oh boy. That's uh, which one? Yeah, this is my place. Uh, uh, I'm. I'm. If you want to stop by for a drink, I will give you a free drink. So I'm. I'm. No I'm, blood. That not, was creepy. Not it. That was weird. That's why. Who said that? Uh, anonymous. Oh, I knew you were no. gonna say that. Anonymous. <laughs> oh no. Anonymous. Hi Eric Larkin, how are you? It's good to see you. And hello Brian and Crispy and Gladys. I wanna know if Gladys is her last name is Feliciano. I wanna know if she's related to Jose. So I'd like you to let us know, because I actually met Jose. So if you're related to him, boy do I have a weird story for you. Feliciano. Hello Jose Feliciano, the Feliciano. guitar player that was blind. He's seen Felicio. Fallacia. Fel sounds close. It to does it sound too close to Fallacia. It does sound. It's a good little... thing that this isn't a kid show. Yes. <laughs> or is it? We had a lot of prostate. This is always this. This <laughs> so <laughs> screws me up when I see this. All right, because it's there's a delay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aaron Hall, hi. Thanks for watching. Uh, all right, here come the questions, and they're. Um, hey, did he just say Buttonwood? <laughs> <laughs> the button wood, yeah. But and wood. But and wood. Button wood does sound like a bit of a condition. Hi Gladys. Hi Eric. You'll take a mudslide. Get your ass over here and you can make one yourself. Yeah. Uh, I said they wanted a mudslide. Eric Larkin. And we'll button your wood. No, it's Boilermakers, Eric. Boilermakers. He knows what I'm talking about. I know what he's talking about. We'll button the wood up. Uh, Eric Larkin's doctor said the same thing. If you don't have a history of prostate then uh, you, you don't have to check till 50. I'm just getting, I'm getting raped in there. You are getting, I'm getting raped. I'm anally raped in there. And, uh, and then I'm paying for it. That's what's happening. <laughs> that's a great one. Boy, I came in an awkward moment. That's awesome. Hey, hey, Paul, Jim and the other guy. Eric, Steve Neitz is watching. Steve Neitz. Hi, Steve. Uh, his name is Paul, too. Go to his show on when? Thursday, right. June 22nd, 8 p.m. Mark Norman, Doug Key, Stash Makita, myself. We got a DJ. Buttonwood.org for tickets. So so now we're talking to you guys. This is an interesting question. Eric Larkin, how do you think barbecue would taste with the beverages you're drinking? Mm. Now that's interesting because I've switched up. But yeah. for you, you we'll, we'll start with Jim. Jim, I know what he would go Barbecue. With. What's that face? Well, I don't know what the question is. What do you mean? Barbecue, what I'm drinking? What, what, what how do you think barbecue? barbecue would taste with your beverage? So if you had a traditional, what, ribs were, or something like that? Yeah, ribs would go great with this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you would, would you want, um, uh, like, St. Louis sweet and spicy? Would you want a dry rub? you want something saucy? Uh, anything that's spicy. Spicy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was going to say, that will cut like, through any spice right there. <laughs> I like hot food. Yeah. Well, that's over 9% right there. So that one's a nice and strong. Mm. Nice and strong. It doesn't taste like, strong. It no, doesn't at all. It's, but it's, it's just good. big. It just is a big one. All right. So for you, now that you're drinking a Mexican beer. Mexican. Mexican. I mean, tacos. Any type of <laughs> a Mexican, combination of, sorry. A Mexican barbecue. Isn't that a way of killing people? <laughs> I'd say you got to go something on uh, this, you know, with any type of meat on a stick. Meat on a stick. A so kebab. we're talking about kebabs. Kebabs or something like that. Maybe like something tangy or sweet and tangy. Interesting. But now if you had to go to the pills... Not, not, yeah, not too much different. Not, yeah. This is kind of a Mexican pilsner in a way. Uh, for me to answer Eric's question about barbecue, um, this is an oatmeal stout, not just a traditional stout. So for me, this means meat. And when I think meat, I think beef. Yeah. So if it was a beef, beef stew, a yeah. beef stew great. would be great That'd with be this. Great. A beef rib, I would be down with. But I don't know like if a I'd short want... rib or something. Maybe a short rib. Yeah. But I don't know about a barbecue with this. Who's <laughs> Who's rib? Be the rib of nice tender piece. A nice oh. tender, a tender piece of meat. There you Make go. A reduction on it or something like that. You heard it here, folks. Yeah, yeah tenderize it. Tender meat. Tenderize that thing. Uh, Dana's watching with me too. Hi, Dana. Uh, 
there, here's a question from Laura. Uh, what? No chicks? Well, it's, uh, I'm a comedian, so we're pretty used to no chicks. I don't know. You know, um, it's not really all where all the hot chicks are hanging out down at the comedy clubs. It's kind of funny, Laura. I'm kind of glad you asked. Now that Jim's here, it's probably a good thing that chicks aren't here. Dot, 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 dot. Well, I'll tell you this, we've got a lot of dicks uh, going on Thursday night, nothing. so let's bounce like out with some hot chicks in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sure, if you, Laura, if you'd like to come, bring that meat by in. all means, bring in your, your short rib. Your short rib and roast beef, whatever you got. We'll, uh, we'll take it on Thursday night oh, at no. 8 p.m. Balance it out, ladies. Come on out. And you know what, Mark? Mark and Doug are two of the best-looking best, best -looking comics in the industry, I must say. Is that right? Yeah. I, uh, oh, come on. What about, uh, uh, what was the, that guy's name? He was so big. He played, played the garden a zillion times. Uh, and Dane he, Cook? Dane Cook. Yeah. Well, He's a pretty boy. They're, da they're Dane Cook level. They're up well, there. <laughs> what was that? What are you laughing at? What was that? It was an awkward laughter. What was that face? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Dane that. Cook? Yeah. 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 So, All right, there he sucked go. his dick once, but there that's, you know. Maybe that's why he's getting his prostate checked. That's what you do. Everybody's <laughs> done that once. All right, so Larkin's now, now we're getting into it. Brisket or ribs? We said short rib, which he can Brisket. Mm -hmm. See, I like brisket. Yes. This would do brisket. Yeah, because it's a tender, fatty piece. Yeah. That's what you need. Full flavor, and you get a full-bodied stout right there. Jason Wanzer hooked up. He's also a chef. He's a guy I used to go to school with a million years ago. Hey, Jay. And hey, he Jay. asks about the filet. So would you have a filet with order. that? Order. Porterhouse, you get the best of both worlds. Yeah. You can never go, go wrong. With you can't a, go wrong with, with a good one. Right. In fact, I had one just before you came. Yeah. Um, so I would definitely have, with uh, this, oatmeal stout, I would definitely See, have I like the. I can't drink that all night, though. That's my problem with the oatmeals and the chocolate raspberries and the beef beer. You know, like, well, chocolate raspberry, chocolate I can't do. I just, I can't, you know, the novelty flavors. Yeah, I just a little. I can't drink I can't, a six I can't do too much right. of it because it's too much. I can have sure. one. If I drink three, I'm throwing it on. That's it. Okay. It's, it's too much. Good to know. But like, a, like this, like a Pilsner or something, you can drink that all night. You know? Here's one of the... I can't drink IPAs. Here's, here's one of the PM forms, so I got to move the screen. Paul, why is your hair looking slick? I just got out of the shower, so that's he why. was going for the old timey look. He like but I didn't do a little, like, little mustachio, <laughs> put the wax on there. I know I got out of the shower. I it was a hot, sweaty day. And it's then, very yeah, it is very it was like, very humid today. So when I got home, I jumped right in the shower and I just kind of pulled my hair back. And this is what I came up with, which is probably the worst look for me. It's uh, very like uh, late fifties, early sixties. Original leather jacket. Well, if you want to do the greaser, you can greaser. Greaser. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, you gotta go I straight totally, back with that. I can yeah. totally do that, but. This is the I don't give a fuck anymore. That's what I gave myself. Well, it's so short that you didn't decide what you can do with hair. I just, I got tired of it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I do without hair. It might gross. I'm just happy to have it. 35, I'm happy to have some hair. There, there you go. You, know? you should be. But it does grow so fast, and I don't like. Mine does too. Mine grows very quick. You gotta like. I'm thankful for that. Do ex. your hair. Yeah. I, no, see, I like the do in the hair and stuff. It drives me crazy. That's just me. All right. Any any other funny questions here? No. Yes. Maybe. That looks like everybody there. But I think that's a. Whoa, 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 I missed one. Hey, everybody, comment and give us a smiley face if you you're gonna go to the show Thursday night. Come and smile if you're not. Smile if you're not. Give watch. us a thumbs up. Right up your ass if you're me. Uh, June 22nd, this Thursday, 8 p.m. Mark Norman, Doug Key, Stash Makita, myself hosting. Don't miss out. Go to buttonwood.org. Like. I don't see me. I'm like hiding. That's good. It's always good a confirmation, folks, of that you're <laughs> just as fat as you thought you were. You're an eclipse. Oh, I'm being Jesus. eclipsed. Yeah. My, right. I got to move out and move in. No. I, I'm here. I wasn't, I wasn't scheduled. It's not a total. It was on my way home. You're like a lunar eclipse for me right now. Oh, yeah, in a couple more years, you'll be like a solar eclipse. A loony eclipse? A loon. A solar eclipse. You hear a little bird. Loons. This is like, uh, you know, when you, get, when you go out with friends, you go to the bar, and you know, you sit across. Yeah. And you're like, you can't, nobody can talk to each other. Mm, right. Like, what are you doing? What, yeah, is yeah, it, yeah. what do you say over there? It's like <laughs> a sign all of a sudden. I can't stop yeah, like That's this. why they make round tables. Right. There you go. That's why I like to be the bartender. You should have a round bar. If you were here, this would be a nightmare. 
This would, if, if it was round, it would be. We just have, have a round to bar. What you should be like in the middle of the round, round bar. bar. Yeah. Roll around, play, you know. To go in the round? Yeah. Yeah. Play roundabout by yes? It'd be like hibachi, <laughs> but with alcohol. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> hibachi, but with alcohol. Yeah. And or in our case, when it's hibachi, there is a, always abundant alcohol. Sake. Sake. Guy yeah. flipping bottles and just right in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a cocktail. What? <laughs> <laughs> so there's more questions. Wow, more questions. How long have all of you kept your current hairstyles? For me, about 20 minutes. This, I'd never pull my hair back. Uh, it was the hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's the question. Uh, really? Folks, I, I've had this for about two days, and uh, obviously you've had that for about like 20 year. years. Yeah, so. A year? A two? A year and a half, maybe? Well, I've seen the progression of... Remember the, when I had the mohawk? The mohawk, mohawk yeah, yeah, the, the short, short mohawk. This was yeah. like I did, that you took a nap and woke up and... And there you go. And you're like, holy shit, it's been 80 years. Half people, people I know are dead. dead. Mm -hmm. People I know are dead. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, Half the people I know are dead. <laughs> nice. <laughs> only. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what? What? Wait, what? What? Exactly. Huh? Not, uh, anyway. I like Jason Monzer. He's, he's a lot of fun. So I'm going to just tell you really quick about Jay, because Jay's watching. Hi, Jay. Um, Hi, Jay. Well, why is Jay not on the show? Jay, why, why aren't you on the show? He says, more Saki, more happy, and he's right. Oh, yes. 100% more Saki, more happy. Saki, Saki. Saki, yes. When, when, why have two Me, Saki, Saki. Yeah. You, you will have happy, happy. Right. If you suck the Saki. <laughs> happy ending after Saki? Saki, Saki, this Saki. Happens. <laughs> but this guy, I, I saw him at a bachelor party. That's when I ruined my knee here. Uh, pardon me, about a month ago. Um, Jay was there. This guy has looked exactly the same. And it's not because his hair is the same, although it is. And it's not because he's the same height or weight, although he is. <laughs> it's because he still looks like he's perpetually buzzed. Every time I see him, he looks like he's about two, three sheets to the wind. This guy went on the stage in a performance and started juggling. Drunk, because he could. And he did. He did a hell of a job of it, actually. And I was honored to see it, and I felt it, I think. So I'm going to have to put that on the stripper stage? No. Uh, no, that's the thing. He, he probably shouldn't. Wasn't be. tossing out dildos and juggling. No, no, just, I don't know, baseballs, Jay? Or I, I don't remember what it was that you were juggling specifically. Fruit? I remember him catching something in the air and biting it and throwing it back into the air. I remember that. That's pretty cool. So this guy's got skills. That's skills. Drunk right or there, sober, yeah. Jason Wanzer. I heard more than I drunk. Yeah. It is. Absolutely. It is. Because anybody can do it sober. <laughs> or at least try. What? 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 <laughs> what? All right, what is with you tonight? <laughs> what the hell is going on? It's a storm. And so you're hiding a hand, then you hide the other hand, then you have both hands, then you hide them both, now you have them like this. It's to keep you guessing. It's a, there's, <laughs> there's the kills thing I caught. What then, kills? The one that you skills. just... Kills. You said kills. No, it's just skills. Kills. <laughs> skills. <laughs> Back thing hits the teeth. You gotta get your hearing. Oh, my hearing's 2020. No, it's not 2020. I have 2020 here. <laughs> Ish. You got old persons here. I do not have old. My, I'm younger than you, motherfucker. I'm like, yeah. But you, it's not my fault. You can't keep up. <laughs> oh, I can keep up. <laughs> okay, so he. It was an apple that he bit into the air. He's commenting now. And Leslie and Angelini is is watching us now too. Oh, so we got more people watching. Yeah, Leslie, Leslie Lynn Angelini. She she's the ice cream girl. Ooh. Yeah. Explain that one. Uh, <laughs> Explain <laughs> that one. Uh, her, kind of dirty story her, to it. Her, not really. No, well, if there no. is, I don't know it. But I'm sure she would tell us if there was. Maybe, yeah. yeah. What's yeah. her what? the ice cream girl? She wants to watch the pirate story. movie. Remember that? <laughs> the lightsabers. <laughs> anyway, uh, she her family owned a Dairy Queen. Oh. And, uh, and I, everybody got it we on. Did, we didn't. Uh, yeah. what, I, if they did, I don't remember it. But don't remember what that. Exactly. Comment in if you've ever had sex in a Dairy Queen. It she, turns out that she really you liked the movie, the pirate movie. We're we're happy. That was a fun movie, and uh, sort of like Pirates of Penzance on cocaine oh, would be the God. best way to describe that movie. And Time Bandits. That one just came randomly out from Jason Wanzer. I mean, this is great. They sold the Dairy Queen. Remember what? we used to go to the Dairy yeah, Queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to do charity events at the Dairy Queen. Ah. We would raise all this money for Children's Miracle Network. Uh, dressed up as uh, characters from a galaxy far, far away. We brought in a lot of money. And ice cream. And they would give us <laughs> free ice cream. But you know, it, it's you know that's really sad that you sold it. But 
she used to date one of the guys that's watching right now. Why are you making this awkward? I wasn't awkward for me. What was your name again? <laughs> You're always awkward. I was going to say, what was the name again? <laughs> Leslie Angelini, the Dairy Queen. Well, thanks for checking in. Guys, if you have any questions for this comedian, ask them. This is how you yes. look viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Let me answer some questions before, and that's Mark Norman, Doug Key, Stash Makita, this Thursday, June 22nd, 8 p.m. at the Buttonwood Tree on Main Street, Middletown. Come on out. Go, go, go to buttonwood.org and reserve your tickets now, folks. Yeah. Um, if anybody wants to comment on how Jim's acting like a complete psychopath, you can certainly do that. Wait, what do you mean? I didn't do anything. I know what I just saw. What do you I know what I just saw. What did you see me? Taking a drink. Uh-huh. He did something there, folks. He did something he did. there. Well, okay, Christian, I if I did something, you'd know I did Christian, something. Christian, he's going to kill me in a minute. I'm I not sure. don't. Why is everybody to say that? Well, like, what? I can't go anywhere anymore. People, like. You had a whole thing where this, you were talking to him one episode. You're crazy. One whole episode. You're talking to that. Punch. I don't remember that. This is Punch, by the way. A little cute statue. See him? That's what he did. Talk to that. Probably roofied my drink or something. Right. <laughs> I don't know what you're pouring He's, back there. Leslie says you're practicing for the pirate movie. Ah, <laughs> are my teeth. There you go. Anyway. <laughs> I do pirate weddings, pirate birthdays. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, it occurs to me, it occurs to me, you were here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this on monitor mode here. All right. So if you have questions, keep them coming. He um, repeats himself because he's afraid he's going to forget what he just said. So ah, I do that, yeah. yeah. I, can, I have the ability to tell the same story 400 oh, times yeah. without changing one word. Uh, um, it's a trombone player uh, skill. Anyway, it's like necessary. So the last time you were here, you did the speed. I see that one far. But. <laughs> oh, the speed question round. The speed yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you said the trombone. You said it's the trombone player skill. I said, I see that one far. <laughs> I'm still able to tell the stories. Uh, I, I, I mean, I've been pro for a while. We've okay. played some balls. Right, anyway, anyway, shut up. I'm going to beat you like a dog. So, I would never beat a dog. But you tied the highest score in the speed question round. Oh, Wait, speed curious. question round? Yeah. Wait a minute. Is that the, like, the thing you ask people? Questions? Yeah, that's generally what the speed yeah, question Yeah, you've never round. asked that to me. Well. And how many times have you been on the show? A lot. And you have not asked me once. That's a new bit. Wait, what? That's a new bit. It's pretty new. Yeah, well, I should have been informed about this. Well, now you know. Would you like to do the speed question round? No. Would people like to see Jim do no. the speed question? I'll get them all wrong. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. There's a wrong answer. It's no. just... Or are we competing now? For high score. No. Wait, so if there's no getting a wrong answer, then how are we competing? It's just how many you can answer, I think. Roofies don't work. I used to take them all the time, and I never got laid. Nice, Jay. Noted. Thanks for putting right. that out in the public. You know. <laughs> he gave it to himself. <laughs> oh, no. okay, that's what I need to do. He's going to give other people. Again. Very soon, he'll start hearing, woo, 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 and they will take Jason away. All right. All anyway. Right. So would you like to do the speed question round? You have to answer as many questions as you can in one minute. Wait, you're asking these questions? I ask the questions, it's timed, and then we see how you did. Right now, he's tied for first. Oh! Tied for first with who? Uh, Steve DeCellis. Oh, okay. He's the gamer, dude. The ultimate gamer. Yep, yep. So, you, you think you're up for this? Mm, do we have buzzers? I got a buzzer. You, you, don't, you, don't, buzz, you don't buzz in the answer. Well, I, I don't want to screw answer. up his mind, so if you're going to need to ask him the questions, then go ahead and ask him. I've already done oh. the questions with him. I've already oh, done it. He's done it. Yes. He's on the board. I didn't see this. You didn't see what? You him do it. It did happen. When? Uh, the last episode. How did I not see that? I don't know. You go tune in. Yeah. And not here, but I mean there when you're at home. Okay. Or, all right. You want? To, you think you can do this? No. All right, guys. I can try. We have the most watchers. Definitely didn't work at the bachelor party. No. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. What? What did he say? That was funny though, Jay. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to we're gonna do the speed question challenge with Jim Pratt. He's never done this before. Do I have to drink if I get one wrong? No. Oh, I need another beer, though. <laughs> All right, we can get you another beer. Um, but here's the thing. You have like, to answer. I was so forward about that. You know, it's ridiculous. Uh, same thing, or want to try something a little stronger? <laughs> the same thing. Wait, stronger? Yeah. Can I have a napkin? Uh, you can have a paper towel. Oh, a nap you or paper towel? You almost made me choke on my beer now. So you're so Big stronger. beer. Big so beer. stronger. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, I had that! Yeah. Do you know what? I got one of those for $1.50. Yeah, that's about what they cost. Yeah. yeah, you know what's funny? Somebody else was like, how did you get that for $1.50? I can't get it that cheap. I'm like, where it costs. And I have not been able to find another one. I don't know. Did but you? that hit me 
Yeah, I found them. And they're they're pretty good. They're great. They're not good. They're great. I was surprised. Did you see these? No. What is it? It's uh, a Polish beer. It's, it's, it's really good. I wow. have, yeah. We yeah. like the orders. Oh, boy. Dollar fifty. Yeah. For one bottle of these. Right. I'm just very happy about how cheap it is. Yes, I'm very happy. Well, you know, because I was surprised because I bought that with a six-pack of other things. I'm like, I'll give this a shot. I drank it. I'm like, holy crap. I'm like, this was a dollar fifty. I'm like, <laughs> I would have bought like eight bucks. All right. So, speed, question, challenge. You have to get, you have to answer 17 questions or more in one minute. Mm. Okay, and what these, what these questions are going to be about? Geography? Anything and everything. Geography? Anything and everything. Oh, I failed. You can't. There's no failing. It's just how well, you know, it's all about can you then how do you score? Them? Based on how many you finish. How many you finish? Yeah. I could just say yes, no? Yeah. If it is a yes or no. Okay. If? I don't have to, I could just say. All right, we're putting one the minute. Colors, the color's purple. <laughs> <laughs> I can give any answer I want. I suppose... Oh, I can win this. There you go. But <laughs> it pertains to the as long question. As it, it has to pertain to the question. There's no, you can't fuck around. Oh, then All right, I can't just say yes or no. Here's the thing, though. If Jim doesn't answer 17 Whoa. or more. Wait, what happens? No, 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 no. Just because now you're making too big of a deal, so we're going to make it a big deal. You have to do... Wait, I wasn't told this. <laughs> he'll, he'll, you'll like know what I'll have to do. What do you do to my beer list? Another we'll write shot. another one. <laughs> I'll have to. Can we already kill it? I mean, a beer list? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus. Another shot. Another, yeah, we have to do a shot of my choosing. My choice, if you can't do 17 or more. <laughs> All right. Ready? All right, we'll try. Here. And there's no going back. I feel like I'm start. on a $25,000 pyramid. This is much worse because you can't win shit, but no, no pressure. Can't. Ready? Set name. Joe. Favorite color? Purple. Favorite band? Boston. Favorite song? You light my life. Favorite thing to wear? <laughs> Underwear. Favorite meat? Chicken. Favorite drink? Water. Words to live by? You're dead. Words not to live by? You live. Greatest film. Star Wars. Barbed wire or razor wire? Speaking. Barbed wire. Favorite weapon? How uh, halberd. <laughs> Preferred way to die? In a closet. <laughs> Preferred method of execution? Iron Maiden. Who's your dream girl? She doesn't exist. Missionary or doggy? Doggy. Cr <laughs> crunchy oh. or smooth? U.S. or Postal? US. Fuck, I messed that up. US. I'm going to give you an extra second because I messed up. Ready? Cream of wheat or oatmeal? Oatmeal. All right. Let's add that up. Actually, One, I like cream of wheat. I didn't answer it. It was like how I really believed I would have answered it. I like the bark in there. That was, oh. that was right on cue. <laughs> that lost me some seconds. You Jim? have 14. You have... He has... Sixteen. Oh, oh, which means Jim. I should have wasted is, in my time with the dog. There's, we have a, so we have a tie for first, and you are officially second. Second, second, which really makes third. I always end up second best. No. So you must now do first a shot of all my of choosing. Like I said to you before, I'm the second most interesting man in the world. Because <laughs> I'm the first. No. <laughs> well, actually, the first is up the stickers. No, I thought that was the guy. That's him up there. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I forgot you have him up there. That guy changed. What is he coming down way? here? No. He's a different guy. He's a different guy. Yeah, I know he does hard spell now. Yeah, but like, you have to drink. Change the most you have to drink. Oh, no. He has to drink Vodka's Brew. For those that are unaware, this is vodka infused with kibasa, pickles, cabbage, oh, and potatoes. Uh, yeah, well, I've had a bit more. But it's aged. Yeah, I know. That's the only thing I'm worried about. This Smell. That's all you need. It smells like <laughs> liver and onions. Old no. kielbasa. It smells like. I, yeah, I had it kielbasa. Like it. All right. Kielbasa. All right. Uh, <laughs> what are you drinking <laughs> to? Mufasa. <laughs> what are you drinking to? I don't know. You lost. And now you I was supposed. Drink. I was supposed to actually say what I was drinking to. Yeah. I was drinking to losing this game. That's, That's what right. I was drinking to. Knock it down. To yeah. your loss. Oh, God. Show him. Show him the face. There you go. It tastes like 
old pickles. It's old piss, actually, <laughs> I think is what it is. It's infused with old... I don't want to tell you that that's what wow, the person dude, Afterwards, you got that cucumber taste. Yeah, yeah. This is everything they ate before they pissed in it. I think that's what it, that's, <laughs> nice. what it that's the infusion. You Ooh. should try some. No. <laughs> oh, thank you. I've smelled piss before. Really? I was off by one. That sucks. I was off. If I didn't bark, I would have been fine. If you didn't bark, you, you would have tied. At least tied. Mm. Oh, I didn't think I was going to win. But I'll tell you one thing. I, didn't, I definitely didn't answer any of those truthfully. <laughs> I thought it was going to be worse than that. Wait, wait more questions? So, uh, so there's some comments here. Because now that we're back on, he's practicing. Uh, beer filtered lager. Thanks, Aaron, for that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be not bad. Yes, to the halberd. That was good. Uh, Eric really likes this game. Hey, Eric, come back and we can play this game. But the questions will change. Uh, and Jason Wanzer just puked. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> After watching you do that shot. Guys, yeah, that pretty mission gross. accomplished. It's been uh, uh, our pleasure to uh, entertain you for the short while we've been doing this. And uh, it's been an hour, man. So uh, cheers and happy trails. Cheers. One last plug. Go ahead. All right, for folks. You. Catch me at Keegan's tonight, Middletown. Tomorrow night I'll be at the Windmill in Stratford. Don't if know what that's it. like, but I've been uh, looking forward to that. Uh, and then Thursday night, 8 p.m., uh, Buttonwood on Main Street in Middletown. Mark Norman featuring Doug Key, Stash Makita. I don't know what's going on behind <laughs> me right now, but I feel like it's been happening all night. So hopefully it's just a big old dick that I can suck in the head. But, uh, yeah, get your tickets. So reserve your seats on buttonwood.org, everybody. Thank you. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're gonna be doing another show soon, but I need your help. I need your help, and I need your help. What do you need my help for? Uh, for another show. Uh, it's gonna be a post Comic Con show. So if you went to Comic Con, uh, I want your butt over here. A few people have asked. I'd like you here. We can talk about the whole Carrie Fisher thing and all that other stuff another time. All right. See you guys. Bye bye. Stay metal. This is really bright. And well, other people are still watching. Uh, say bye. Say bye. Bye, folks. Good to see you. This has been a shitty production. Thanks. Bye.